There is big concern for homeowners in evacuation zones other than fire entering their communities, and that is looting. And we've learned there have been at least two arrests, and we're awaiting even more specific details. Fox 12 photojournalist Devin Eskew found these signs on the road between Colton and Estacada. While the words on the signs are different, the messages all the same. Looters will be shot. Fox Brenda Kelly spoke with people who are staying back in level three go now areas to protect their neighbors. There's still so much anxiety for people who've had to leave their homes, wondering if they've been burned or if they've been broken into by people looking to take advantage of the situation. Today we drove into Colton and Estacada, and while I cannot tell you the full scope of the fire damage, I can tell you that directly off of Highway 211, we did not see any property or homes burned. Much of Clackamas County remains under a level three go now evacuation order. A lot of people decided to get up and leave when it became a level two zone, understandably, because there was a level three zone just down the road and then there were active fires a little bit that way. As many homeowners rushed out of the red zones, leaving their homes behind, they now worry it's opened the door to looters. So I think that's probably the biggest concern for people right now who aren't necessarily concerned that they're going to lose their house to a fire at the moment. You'll see signs warning criminals they're armed from Colton to Estacada, even Redland, a level two zone. I just wanted to make sure that people knew there was someone on the property. And there are some people who've made the decision to stay, telling me they feel like it's their duty to patrol these vulnerable areas, not just for criminals, but also for threat of fire. We've been told to stay away, but we want to help. You know, this is, this is our home. This is where we come from. These two men were heading out to fight hot spots in Estacada. So far, there's, I've seen, I think, five homes up there that were burnt down to the ground. So it's, we're pretty much just trying to catch every spot fire that we can, anything that's sparking up. Uh, they, they started merging. Joel Litke considers himself the eyes for the town. He streams live while driving through the area. There has been some homes lost in, a, in certain areas. Um, I've shared a few that there has been some uh, up in the Day Hill area. While it still may be days before we know exactly how many homes have burned, Joel is spending his time trying to comfort his community. Amongst of everything else going on in Portland and around the world, just to have that type of uh, you know community unity and love and there's no such thing right now as, as race or age or anything like that it's it's one community you know reporting in Clackamas County Brenna Kelly Fox 12 Oregon